part one of our functions lesson. What is a function? A function is when you have a number, you're going to put it through a function machine and they come out as a number. You might have remembered this as input, function machine, output. So I put in a 7. You do something to that 7 and it may come out as an 11. So what do we do to our 7 to come out as 11? I think we added 4 to it. So the function rule or the added 4 to all these input numbers to become 11. So this lesson is over single operation. In our part 2 lesson, it will be over double operation. So let's start with our first lesson. You have a 5. It becomes an 8. Hmm. You have a 12. It comes out as a 15. A 27 becomes a 30. So what is the relationship? What's the function machine going to do to these 5, 12, and 27? Well, it is getting bigger. I do know that. Bigger numbers is usually caused by adding or multiplication. But I know I can't multiply 5 by anything to 8. You know what? I know what it is. It's adding. I think it's adding 3. Adding 3. It is adding 3. So the rule is, function rule is add 3. So you add 3. 3 to any number, n plus 3. So for example, if I have a 10 as a number, I add 3, the answer will become 13. That's the output. So plus 3, n plus 3 is a function rule. Next one, what's the relationship between 35 and 31? 31 to 27, 87 to 83. Oh, it's getting smaller. Just barely smaller, so I think it's subtraction. I know it's not division because I know you can't divide anything. Minus... Four, I think. 31 minus 4, 27. 87 minus 4. It is minus 4. So if I put in any number like G, you take away 4. That's the function rule. It's minus 4 from the thing. For example, if you have 10 as your input, you take away 4. The output would be 6. Next one. Input. What's the relationship between 3 to 24? 7 to 56? 21 to 168 and Q. Hmm. It's getting bigger. I is it plus? Wow, no, that's getting way too bigger. Is it multiplication eight? Seven times eight. It is times eight. So the function rule is times eight. So if I put in any letter, Q times eight. Did you know there's another way to write this? It's really a say. Eight groups of these number. So it's eight times Q or eight Q. We prefer this one. You put the coefficient or the number before the variable or letter. Number usually goes because they say eight groups of this number. So eight group of these number will come out of the output. And the last example, how do you turn a 24 to an 8? Smaller, 33 to 11, smaller, 12. Is it minus 8? No, it doesn't work. I think it's division. 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 Because it's getting really small. I think you're dividing 3 by each one. So the function rule says divide by 3. Divide what letter? R by 3. So R divided by 3. Another way to write it is this way. Do you remember we had uh, improper fractions? 24 over 8 is 3. Sorry, 24 over 3 is 8. 33 over 3 is 11. 12 over 3 is 4. So it's r over 3, or r divided by 3. So in function rule, if the numbers are getting bigger, it's usually caused by adding or multiplication. If the output is getting smaller, it's usually caused by subtraction or division. So you need to see what's the relationship between each number. And if it works, then you found it. This is part one of function, single operation.